death there. So I've got Therion who, Therion used to be a thief warrior, but I'm trying out this rune blade uh, one. That's the only secret ability or secret secondary job that I've gotten so far. He is priest buff great. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. And then I got Cyrus as a dancer because, uh, mainly because I was trying to give everyone like the f eight different because I didn't know there was special secondary jobs. So I had it so my whole party had all of the jobs. And Cyrus, in one of his travel banters, says he wants Primrose to teach him dancing. So I decided he was going to be the dancer. It also kind of just works out well. So Tressa's then the huntress and Ophelia's an apothecary. So I thought I'd just keep her as overall um, healer. But I'm wondering if maybe I should switch that up. Maybe it's better to have the two different people healing. But I thought it was just kind of good for Ophelia. I might switch if Ophelia and Tressa's roles, maybe? I'm not sure. I've been struggling here, though. Uh, I guess I just go try again. If I die for a third time, I'm gonna try and either go to the next one or just level up a little bit. I, I don't know. Yeah, I feel the same. Ophelia's apothecary, too, and I feel like it's not that useful. I might change her. Sorry, he's got a nice outfit. I know, I know, right? He's got his belly showing. <laughs> it's hilarious. He he looks he looks pretty funny. Um, I like Tressa's cute little wolf. But yeah, I don't know how um this Hannah's hunter thief. I think I had Hannah as I don't remember what I had Hannah as. I really didn't use the other four characters. So like these were my main four, and I sometimes had. Primrose as a dancer cleric, and so she and Ophelia would switch out mainly throughout this game. And I'd only ever put in Hannah, Alfen, and Ulbrick in during their stories. And so now that I'm done their chapter fours, I've kind of just gotten rid of those three, and I'm not dealing with them anymore. But so yeah, this is my main party always. So that's why they're they're all a lot higher level than my other characters. Um, but yeah, I'm I guess I'm gonna try this again. fucking boss though. I haven't played a single minute of the other characters besides their introduction. Wait, what do you mean you haven't played any of the other stories? Have you just been doing the one story all the way through? What? What I did for this game, I only used four characters until I used those four completely and then continue with the other characters who are all like level seven and do their stories. Oh, interesting. But the thing is, you can not switch out your main party member. Unless, like, maybe you can if you complete their chapter four. I don't know. But how do you switch them out? So I had, like, two parties. So I've been doing my party of four is what I mean. Oh, so you've both only been doing a party of four and then doing their stories all the way through. See, what I did was I did all the chapter ones and I did all the chapter twos and then all the chapter threes and now I'm doing all the chapter fours. And I just kept going around the big circle around the whole map. Um... So that's interesting though, that's a different, I can't speak. That's an interesting approach to it though. Doing the two separate parties the whole time. What am I gonna do here? I'm so just like, <laughs> I'm so upset with this, with this battle. I was on, um, I was at the Warbringer, um, what is it, the Warbringer, shrine for a while and she's apparently the hardest one so i left her and came to this one but i'm almost thinking of trying to go to the other one at this point it's apparently the one i haven't been to is the easiest one um i tried to do uh spam reflective veil versus this boss she destroys herself Oh, that's an interesting idea. I've been trying to do him poison, but maybe Reflective Veil would be a good one. Tressa, why would you do that? She's gonna attack you now. Oh, she didn't. Um, I tried to do it in order of chapters for every character, but I didn't want to grind characters I didn't use. Yeah, fair enough. I w basically what I did was I, as I said, only had like these four people in my party, and then only when I got to the chapter of the other characters, I'd switch the other character in. And then I basically just let the other three carry the other character. Oh, someone else is here! Oh god, I can't... The color is different in, uh... Because I have the dark mode and it's dark blue. 
Alcyon Eldara, Dancer Ultimate on Ophelia, Reflective Veil to everyone. Oh, that would be a good idea. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? If you can get the Dancer Ultimate ability going, you can make some Reflective Veil effects the entire party, which is awesome. Probably another good way to do that, guys, actually, would be the Rune Blade on Primrose, because Rune Blade... Oh, I can't show you because I'm not on Darion right now. But Rune Blade has a thing where it says if you use a... Oh, I guess you have to have Dancer on Ophelia then, though, in order to do the Reflective Veil one. So Reflective Veil... Maybe it'd be Ophelia... Instead of Ophelia Dancer, it'd be Ophelia Rune Blade. Because Rune Blade has a move that does uh, one status augmentation to all characters. Just like, I think, Primrose's ultimate. It's very similar, I think. So maybe I should try switching Ophelia to being the Rune Blade if I, when I fail it. Here, actually. Maybe I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try switching up my fucking party. I'm gonna reload from save. I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna. I've died twice to this already. I'm gonna try switching up some of their abilities and see where it goes from there. Maybe that'll work. Just so you know, uh, Alcyon, I've died twice to this boss. Two or three times already to this boss. And I'm having a hard time, so I'm gonna try and switch things up. Um. It's cool having so many people hanging out, though. Wow. <laughs> Should I be jealous? That's my boyfriend in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear him. He also streams. Y'all should follow me on Twitch as well. Mm -hmm. Gamma, two times enjoyed every minute. I know you enjoyed every minute of me dying, Gamma. You're a horrible person. <laughs> rune Blade Ophelia could be good because she could use... Yeah, that's what I was saying. The transfer rune. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Is I do the transfer rune with Ophelia. Uh, I do want the Apothecary ability. So maybe I'll make Therion be an Apothecary. And do Ophelia Rune Blade. I just woke up 7 a.m. here, started Octopath, and felt like watching a stream along. I ended up on yours. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome. You must be in Europe or the Middle East or something, maybe? If you're 7 a.m.? Because it's 10.30 p.m. where I am, because I'm North... Or I'm, a uh, North... I'm, a uh, West Coast, nor uh, North America, so... Canada. Canada. Fun. Switzerland. Oh, that's awesome. All right. We're going to... Let's put these jobs here. Oh, Ophelia looks adorable as a hunter. She has her little, she has her hair up. It's so cute. Okay, you're gonna be a rune lord, and then you're gonna be apothecary. Wait, sorry, I totally skipped over apothecary. Okay, we're gonna try this, and we gotta switch up the equipment. Um. Wish I could have just woken up. I feel drunk because it's so late. I'm in Belgium. Transfer rune works for self boost. Uh, I'm on East Coast, which is why it's so late for me. Or I guess super early because it's technically morning. Alcyon, I've been enjoying watching your single final boss kill attempts. Single final boss. Very interesting. Oh, that's cool. So does that mean like, you're using just one character? I think everything else should be fine with him. Alright. Should be good. And I gotta change their skills up. Um... to have Therion learn skills. Oh, Therion's already learned all these. Uh, so abide, sidestep, but not for reflecting bill. Oh, so I, I can't do the rune, the, the fucking transfer rune for reflecting bail? Is that what you're saying? It's not, what does it say about them? For three turns, skills that normally target yourself alone will target your allies as well. Oh. So maybe, should I have it on Tressa then? Because Tressa can do sidestep. And abide. Which one's abide again? Who's abide? I don't think any of my guys have abide. 
That's dumb. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I should try it on Tressa then and switch Tressa off Hunter. Um. And switch Ophelia. Back to Apothecary, maybe. Okay. We'll figure this out. Okay, you're not gonna be. Um. Whoops. Let me switch off. Ophelia is gonna be Apothecary again. Tressa is gonna be Rune Blade. Rune Lord. And then you're gonna be Hunter. Uh, many people do that against physical enemies to cheese another secret job. Yeah, so... I don't... Is this boss, though, is she doing magic or physical? I can't always tell. I think it might be magic, isn't it? So the size step thing's not really gonna work. It's better for the Warbringer boss, then, wouldn't it be? Yeah, she's doing magic, so that's not really gonna help, is it? She's doing magic, yeah. Fuck! Um, god, what do I want my party to be doing here, then? Don't know what the... So when I tried the most, haven't managed to kill her just yet, but I tried quite a few things. Maybe I'll go... Sh should I try the Warbringer one, or then, or should I be trying... The... Should I be trying the one secret boss I haven't gone after then yet? What is the... Is Because Gamma was saying the other one's the easiest. The one I haven't done yet, which is by, I think, Cyrus or Therion's final chapter. Warbringer... Yeah, that's what Gamma was saying too, Voja. Is that, uh... Fucking Warbringer's the most difficult one. Hmm. And he's quite easy. The last one you haven't tried is the sorcerer. It's next to Cyrus Final Chapter, and he's quite easy. Alright, maybe I'll go try that then. Whoops. We're gonna go try and find the other shrine for now then. <laughs> Cause then I'll have at least two options for better or I'll have like more options for um more options for for like different skills and like team builds this way. Don't die to this one, Midnight. Break that losing streak. On the road between Victor's Hollow and Dust Barrow is the shrine. I won't spoil anything. You have to find yourself. Yeah, usually I find it's once you get into the next area, like the dusk looking area. So, oh, I don't think I changed their uh, weapons up. They're all gonna have really crap weight. They're all gonna have really crap weapons right now. I need to, uh, I need to fix my team. One second. Uh, first of all, let's make you a hunter and then let's get your equipment right. I don't think anything's gonna be better for my evasion. No. I think you're still fine. Alright. Oh, I should probably do. Learn skills. So I think that other shrine that's on my map there is the shrine for something else. I personally had the hardest time with Runeblade, but Warmaster is hard if you don't have Transfer Room Sidestep. Yeah, we have Transfer Room Sidestep now, so maybe I'll do... I'm gonna do this one because everyone's saying it's really easy. Yeah, you can see the shrine on the map here. So I'll try this one because it's supposed to be easy. And then I will... Is it over this way? Oh, it's a chest over here. And then maybe I'll try going back to Warbringer. Or we'll see what this other 
I'll see what this other secondary job gives me and see yeah. if I think I want to try with Warbringer or with uh, Starseer. Hmm. All right. Um, fire magic. Yeah. I appreciate all the help, guys. You guys are somehow, like, all around the same area as me. He's kind of easy once you figure out the strategy. You might die a couple times before you figure it out. For Warbringer or for this guy? Are you talking about Voja? For this guy. Okay. Tressa looks really strange in this outfit. She looks like some sort of, like, dragon princess. Tressa, why are you missing? The sorcerer old man on a chair. Yeah, when you said old man on a chair, I kind of ended up thinking of Primrose's, uh, boss. Because he sits on, like, a throne chair thing at one point. There's a couple people who sit on chairs, actually, at some point. Uh, oh yeah, lol, I forgot about that dude. Helganish, something like that. Yeah, you? Uh, Helganish is, I think, another one, but I was thinking of, um, what's his name? Primrose's guy friend slash enemy. I think his name's right with an S. Yeah, I think Helganish is one that's like, isn't he like one of Cyrus's like, first bosses? Is his name Dursel or Smith? So I might search the D. Uh, there is a guy that's- I think there, there's- there's Cyrus's, I think, first boss or something, which I think also might sit on a chair? Or maybe someone else is- I've been playing this game for so long, guys, I really don't remember all the bosses and their names. I took like a month break on it for October way back when, so I only just picked it up again, like, December actually, I think. Cyrus' first boss was Russell. How can I show the fat dude on the chair and put him on the sugar? Oh, I see. Yeah, the fat guy on the chair. Oh, I see. Yep, I remember who you're talking about now. Okay, it's gonna be up here somewhere. I think I might have found the path to it right away. Or I found the path to a secret chest. So it's one or the other. <laughs> um, let's try an arrow storm. You guys weak to arrows? No. No, you're not. That's disappointing. I really don't know how I feel about Tressa in this rune outfit. It doesn't suit her, in my opinion. Kind of funny, I'm playing on my second screen and we're in the exact same area I'm leveling around here. Nice. Alright, um. Middle music to dark magic. Yep, dark. Excuse me, dark magic. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be playing this till pretty late tonight. I wanna actually try and get all the fucking, uh. I wanna get all these fucking secondary jobs. It's my goal. Probably won't happen tonight, but I'm gonna do my best. Hey, we killed one. Yes. 
Give me all that SP. Hey, sorry, it's level 62 now. Oh, I think I found the shrine. Dun, 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 dun. Shrine of the Arch Magus. Interesting. Give me that treasure chest. Oh, there's a monster. 